He went to Paris looking for answers to questions that bothered him so. He was impressive, young and aggressive, saving the world on his own. But the warm summer breezes, the French wines and cheeses, put his ambitions at bay. And summers and winters scattered like splinters, and four or five years slipped away. Then he went to England and played the piano and married an actress named Kim. Oh, they had a good life and she was a good wife and bore him a young son named Jim. And all of the answers and all of the questions he locked in his attic one day. Cause he liked the quiet of clean country living and 20 more years slipped away. Well, the war took his baby, the bombs killed his lady and left him with only one eye. His body was battered, his whole world was shattered and all he could do was just cry. While the tears were falling, he was recalling answers he never found. So he hopped on a freighter and skidded the ocean and left England without a sound. Now he lives in the islands and fishes the pylons, he drinks that green label each day. Now he's writing his memoirs and losing his hearing, but he don't care what most people say. Through 86 years of perpetual motion, if he likes you, he'll smile and he'll say, Jimmy, some of it's magic, some of it's tragic, but I had a good life. to Paris looking for answers to questions that bothered him so.